now Matejic Kejman getting into the back of the nets for the first time in three matches. Flicked on well there by Niki Forov. Venegorov had to like shot blocked and a total state of disarray for the Ajax defense now and more misery in the back for the Amsterdam side. Serbity up and backing in is Venegorov Hesling. Falls to Lucius and in! Teo Lucius with an absolute beauty from long range. And if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, and Lucius makes it 2-0. What a goal from Teo Lucius. Look at this one. It falls to him, takes it. On the volley, good control. Hits it on the outside of that right foot and a nice bend for the youngster. And a chance to flourish here in the starting 11 and pay SB. Well, they are the champions and now start the home match in league competition, bowing out to Teuton defending champion, PSV Eindhoven, and a very deserved victory for the visitors. Indeed, it was a very interesting match, and Ajax generating all kinds of opportunities here in half number two. They were down 2-0. Zlatan continuing to pour forward, unable to get anything out of it. Then it was Juanberto slipping through. This is the best chance of the match for Ajax. Juanberto with a tough angle to cut. Comes away with nothing again. Then Ajax indeed pouring forward. It looked like they had gotten off the mark this time. Fondamati with a superb cross. A lovely header from Mito, but the foul from Mito as he climbed up over the back of Andre Oyer, wiping the slate clean as Vic Yol all over things from the official standpoint. Then Pay SV, Dennis Romanov, look at this juke. Lovely strike for him, and the Danish Rocket adding insult to injury and the salt in the proverbial wounds, whatever you want to call it. Eric Harris' is men with a convincing performance beating Fred Grimm, and nothing for them to do today. Even a nutmeg of Christian Kiva to book. And things are going your way, they're going your way. And they weren't going for Ajax, but they did get a reprieve as Juanberto is brought down. Andre Berdomo would step up from the penalty spot and slot it home three minutes from time. However, try as he might, the Norwegian would not be able to bring his side back. And they go... Uh, ...was silenced early on. Only seven minutes gone, and a scramble in the Ajax defence before Matea Kesman applied the finish. Seven minutes later, and it was 2-0. Theo Lucius with a superb strike. Oh. <laughs> Ten minutes from time, PSV made the points completely safe. Dennis Romadal with the goal number three. Ajax did get one back when Wamberto was pulled down inside the box and Andre Bergdomo scored a consolation penalty. It's at 1-0, minute 13. And Keshman, he won't get an easier chance than that, Max. What was it, a yard out? Still. Seconds later, a chance for... PSV to extend their lead, not happening this time, flag was up, but talk about perseverance, only a few seconds later after that, the cross sneaks in, and from 25, a screamer from Lucius, Lucius, 14th minute, 2-0 oh, PSV, no, oh, and no. that's uh, not a very happy coach right there. No, it's not, set up beautifully in front, Lucius off the side of the boot. Caught it off the half volley. Oh, I love that. You ever score a goal like that, Max? Uh, I can't recall. I used to all the time. <laughs> PSV, though, they had Ajax's number today, and that is just lovely finishing. Left foot, he looked up, he saw there was a slight gap in the far post, and Romandal in the 80th minute just tucks it away. 3-0 in the Amsterdam Arena. Nice. What is going on with Ajax? Very lax today. 3-0, they would get a penalty kick awarded to them. It's Dick Yo. I wonder if he's World Cup bound. And the Norwegian international, Berdolmo, would put it through. Small consolation, though. 
And Ajax would lose 3 1 at home. PSV surging. Not enough. Now moving over to final order. Pierre Van Hoydonk. Oh, and he did that last week. And he's doing it this week. That's two weeks on the trot. He scored absolute beautiful free kicks. Spent last season with Vitesse Arnhem. Now back with one of the big boys of Dutch football. Willem Tway working up the midfield. They would sneak in behind for a moment. Oh, and it's there. Lanzat. Lanzat. <laughs> 56 minutes. That was just outstanding finishing. Where did that come from? Sponsored by Inter Police. Lanzat, that's a great ball. It came all the way from the back. But too much fire Nord and too much of the big lad. Watch it come in. The save. Pierre Van Hoydoy. 2-1, 57th minute, and a lot of goals this week coming from inside the six-yard box. These are the chances. You don't like them, do you? No, nah, not really. <laughs> I mean, strikers can't miss, but watch this one, Max. This was full of controversy. The lad thought he'd been brought down. He's not very happy about it. Fire Nord, they go on the attack, and what happens? Inside the six! Ben Hoydon, it's a hat-trick. 3-1, Fire Nord, and three points are in the bag. Good win for Feyenoord as things really starting to heat up now in Holland. Remember, Payas Bay ran away with it last year. Maybe